Hi Aries, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I do tarot readings for the people from all around the world in English language. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Right now, I'm going to do a reading for Aries people that what will happen from 15th of October till 31st of October 2022. Uh, I'm going to divide this reading into many parts. In the first part, we'll see uh, we'll do love readings for Pisces, oh, sorry, for Aries. Okay, in the first part, we'll do uh, love reading for Aries couples. And uh, after that, we'll do love reading for Aries singles in the same video. And uh, after that, I'm going to pull some cards out for your money and career area. And after that, I'm going to pull some cards out for uh, your moods in the second half of October. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna pull some extra messages for you from Gypsy Cards. So watch the video till the end so you get all these messages. Okay, let's start with Aries couples love reading. Okay, love messages for Aries couples, 15th to 31st of October. Love messages for Aries couples, 15th to 31st of October. Love messages for Aries couples, 15th to 31st of October. Love messages for Aries couples, 15th to 31st of October. Love messages for Aries couples, 15th to 31st of October. Okay, Aries, one, two, three, four, and five. Six. Okay. <clears throat> In the middle, we have Knight of Wands. So, uh, Aries, uh, I guess this uh, this relationship or this situation is in and out. Maybe up and down. Maybe in and out. Maybe it it always goes up and down, up and down, or. It's like uh, this person comes into your life and then goes out of your life. It's not a stable relationship. Uh, and uh, I don't know, somehow you're fine with it. Now you have got some kind of clarity and you are okay with that because underneath we have sun. So that means that you have some kind of clarity about it that it's fine maybe some for some of you maybe you don't care anymore and for some of you maybe you want it that way or for some of you it's like you have gotten clarity or maybe uh, you have some other option too because we have ace of pentacles in the background so I guess uh, for some of you, you have another opportunity which you feel is more suitable for you. It's not for everybody, it's for some of you. Uh, before that, we have Page of Wands. So you have been really free-spirited and I think even if it's a committed relationship, even then it's not like uh, a bondage or something like uh, you're not bound mentally. Uh, you are a free spirit at this point in time and you feel free, uh, whatever your situation is. In your headspace, we have six of pentacles. So you uh, give to this situation, but I think a little. Or maybe this is just the giving in this situation from both sides uh, is not much the giving is uh like really less so it's a it's a it's an unbalance of give and take kind of energy uh and uh moving forwards what's coming towards you in these days is ten of swords and death okay that's uh, I never sugarcoat my reading Aries, I'm sorry, but this is uh, kind of an ending I see. Uh, so in the second half of October, this situation can end or maybe there can be a break or a breakup in this situation. Uh, 
maybe my reading is wrong and uh, you can always cons consult the other great readers on YouTube. Uh, but uh, what I see in my reading is an ending. So maybe you want this ending for some of you. Uh, but uh, whether you want it or you don't want it, uh, what I see here coming towards you is ending of this situation. So it can be a temporary ending also because these are general readings. Uh, maybe it will end temporarily and then there will be a big change or a transition or a big alteration in the situation or maybe it will end. So it's very clear here. I don't have much to say about it. I'm sorry, but this uh, in my reading, it seems to be an ending for you in this situation, a gap, an ending, a breakup, a break or something like that in the second half of October. That's what I see for you. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, now let's move towards singles. Okay. Love messages for singles. Aries, 15th to 31st of October. Love messages for singles, Aries, 15th to 31st of October. Love messages for singles, Aries, 15th to 31st of October. Love messages for singles, Aries, 15th to 31st of October. Okay. One, two. Okay, Eight of Pentacles and King of Wands. So you'll be more focused on your work, I feel. And uh, I don't see much happening uh, here. Uh, but uh, maybe you'll be, some of you will be very focused on your work and career and finances and all that. Uh, there is a character card. I'll clarify this King of Wands. Clarifying King of Wands. Clarifying King of Wands. Yeah, that's a challenge tower. So, uh, I think, uh, I think you, uh, if some of you will be focused on your work and the others, even if you try, uh, if you're trying, you have somebody in mind and you're trying, I don't think that it's going to work out in this time frame uh, in October uh, because uh, there can be something unexpected happening, but I don't think it's very positive here. Sorry about that. Uh, but I think uh, no, uh, there will be challenges, still challenges as far as your love life is concerned. Uh, so singles, I think will be still singles in the second half of October. Uh, but something can happen, which honestly, I'm not so sure, but I'll pull one more card out. Okay. Messages for singles, Aries. Yeah, again, a character, Queen of Cups. So again, it's I, I think it's not uh, something happening. These are just feelings and uh, uh, like uh, you standing your ground with whatever you believe and uh, not much is going to happen here. That's what I see. Now let's pull some cards out for your money and career. Okay. Money and career messages for Aries, 15th to 31st of October. Money and career messages for Aries, 15th to 31st of October. Money and career messages for Aries, 15th to 31st of October. Okay, one, two. That's actually very positive. Page of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Aries, so lots of pentacles here, even in, in your love reading. So I feel that lots of you will be focused on your work and your work is going to be really good, really positive. Your work life, your finances, 
uh, you're going to start something. It can be a job or it can be a business or something like that. You're going to start something and it's going to really work out. Money is going to come in and uh, I think you will be uh, focused on your work and that will that will be giving you good benefits. Uh, you your financial situation will improve your work will improve whatever you do in your life and something new is gonna start uh, it can be an assignment it can be a project it can be a job it can be anything but it's really good and really positive now let's see what kinds of moods you'll carry moods of Aries 15th to 31st of October. Moods of Aries 15th to 31st of October. Moods of Aries 15th to 31st of October. One, two. Okay. Uh, seven of Cups and Hierophant. Okay, mostly Aries, I feel that you'll be fantasizing uh, creating daydreaming, uh, like imagining uh, your future or things, different things, uh, mostly in your head. You will be a lot in your head and imagination in the second part of October. Some of you will be inclined towards religion or spirituality. So, uh, you'll uh, sometime you'll be inclined towards guidance spirituality things like that and uh, mostly you will be uh, imagining and i don't know creating illusions wishing maybe something like that but i think you'll be spending lots of time with yourself also because we have hermit in the background and you'll be gaining some wisdom thinking a lot looking behind whatever is happening and getting some perspective out of it so these kinds of modes you're going to carry from 15th to 31st of october now let's pull some extra messages for you from gypsy cards okay what else for aries 15th to 31st of october what else Aries 15th to 31st of October? What else Aries 15th to 31st of October? What else for Aries 15th to 31st of October? Okay, one, two. Yeah, uh, loss and longing. So I guess you're going to be, again, thinking about the past, whatever happened and feeling that, okay, that was a loss, whatever happened, and then looking into the future, like just in your thoughts, like again, imagining, uh, fantasizing or uh, things like that, like longing uh, for a good future. So these 15 days are basically more about thoughts and um, imagination and getting some perspective by looking into the past. So overall, what I see here, uh, Aries, is that uh, whatever is happening in your life, I think this is the time, This the remaining month of October is the time to get some perspective for you and I think that's what you, you're going to do. Uh, getting perspective, looking back into the past, learning from your mistakes and seeing what happened and then looking into the future and uh, imagining how it can move forward now. Please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. And thank you so much for watching the video. Stay blessed always.